Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. tech stocks, and this is going to be my daily forecast for U.S. tech stocks for Wednesday, October 28, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So let's get to it. So we'll first of all look at Netflix, and Netflix, well, hasn't had a very good uh, two weeks. We broke down quite significantly, but we have tried this several times before. The 100 moving average has proven to be significant support for Netflix stock. And we see the same pattern as we did uh, only a month ago when we broke down um, towards the, 50 uh, the 100 moving average, a little bit underneath, but never ever closed significantly lower uh, than the 100 moving average. We then uh, rally up towards the uh, 50 moving average, broke down again, and then we found the necessary momentum in order to go to the upside top again. I do believe that is something that we'll see uh, play out very similar to this pattern. We'll rally up towards the 50 moving average, break down again, and then find the necessary momentum in order to go higher. Um, U.S. election is only a um, week away from now, and um, we will probably see a lot of noise. There is most likely not going to be any stimulus. I saw headlines today that the technically negotiations are dead, and uh, there should not be expecting any stimulus, uh, technically before the new president. And that means that we have to wait until January next year that is something i have been saying for a very long time now and i do believe that is also going to be the case um there's if donald trump loses then there's going to be a lot of noise he's just going to wreak havoc on the economy by tweet storming and uh, uh, refusing to leave and so on and so on so so we'll just have to see um if we break lower than here, then of course we have the 150 moving average. Um, and I don't expect us to go down there to those levels. I do expect us to trade sideways as we have done for several weeks now of a high of around 575 and very lows of 466. That is basically on the 150 moving average. Uh, if you look at technical indicators, they are... Uh, they are improving some of them stochastic has turned around the bollinger band we are basically at the bottom of the bollinger band cci has turned around but the rsi which is at this point uh oversold is still looking bearish and so is the macd we probably need one or two more training days we'll probably see this massive green candlestick um towards the 50 moving average and then break down again before having the necessary momentum to the upside. But this is a market that is going to, or a stock that is going to go higher. Even though coronavirus is um, a massive problem for the world economy at this point, if uh, the world uh, shuts down, then they'll watch Netflix, they'll watch Disney Plus and uh, and so on and so on. So this is a win-win situation for, for this stock. So we look at uh, Microsoft. Microsoft released um, its earnings um, in pre-market and they, they basically were much better than anticipated. And that usually means that we will rally tomorrow. We found support at the 100 moving average um, in yesterday's session. We rallied a little bit today, but we'll probably see a massive green candlestick uh, tomorrow, even though the, some of the technical indicators for Microsoft are not looking very good at this point. Stochastic is looking very bearish. Same, same goes for the MACD, same goes for the Bollinger Band, and uh, the same goes for the RSI. But the CCI has turned around a little bit. So, but the, the um, higher than anticipated um, earnings are going to be massive for Microsoft tomorrow. 
So no anticipation for this stock to break below the 100 moving average. It's already support. Good news tomorrow. This will go higher. Just the question is how high. So first shot is $224. And the next is the highest here of $232. So look at Apple. Apple rallied today. We still can't break below the 40 exponential moving average in order to get to the 100 moving average. So we just have to conclude for the time being, this is the bottom. Every time we get here, then expect a rally. This was basically due to um, market uh, overselling, uh, but expect this area here to be um, support for the time being at least. We have found resistance at the 50 moving average. Technical indicators for, um, uh, for Apple are um, improving. Uh, Stochastic is turning around. Back the uh, Bollinger Band, not a lot of volatility here, but we have reached the bottom of the Bollinger Band, so we'll probably go higher. RSI is flat. CCI is showing the signs of, uh, of uh, bullishness. And the same goes for the MACD, but it is a little bit flat. But this is the most encouraging sign. When we cross the signal line, in that indicates that we most likely will go higher. And we'll find resistance here at 125. After that, we'll find resistance here at 128. And then we'll find resistance here at 137. Amazon. Very good day today, as expected. Uh, most of the indicators have turned around. MACD, uh, RSI, and the CCI, especially the stochastic, and also the, the Bollinger Band are showing that we will most likely go to the top of the Bollinger Band at 3,428, which also coincides with the highs here. Don't really expect this market to, to, uh, to uh, basically explode to the upside. We could... And the reason why I say that is because the coronavirus is becoming a massive problem, not just in, in the United States, but everywhere. And that means that people will have to buy more online and that will benefit especially Amazon. So we could see Amazon stock go much higher. And uh, that is also anticipated. MACD is showing that. Stochastic is showing that. Technically, most uh, indicators here are showing that we'll go higher. Question is that, will we break this area, this um, this uh, resistance area of 3,500? If we can, then we'll go significantly higher. If you look at Tesla, we rallied today 1%. We found support at the 40 exponential moving average. But uh, some of the indicators for Tesla are looking quite sketchy. They're not as bullish um, as expected. Uh, this, mark, uh, this stock has been quite dead for some time now. Um, used to rally like uh, 13, 15 uh, percent uh, in trading session and fall as many as percentage. But at this point, we're just trading sideways. We are... It is fairly boring, and that is strange to say that about Tesla stock. We usually is very, very, very uh, volatile. Uh, but we are finding massive support at the 50 and 40 expansion moving average. But to the upside, we also find massive resistance at $465. After that, we have the highest here of around $502. So... At this point, um, if the if this um, moving average these moving averages break, then we are going to these lows, and that is also where we find the hundred moving average. So just be aware that if we break below this, then that opens the door to much lower levels. Facebook rallied two point two three percent today. We did not break the highs here, and that is not a good sign. That could mean that we are basically going back towards the 50 moving average or the 40 exponential moving average. Um, technical indicators are turning around. Mac, the bullish about it, we're basically at the top here, and that is not an encouraging. I will probably break towards the uh, 20 uh, moving average first, which is around 
$269. And MACD is still looking bullish. Same goes for the, for the RSI. We're almost overbought. The CCI is turning negative, and the, so is the Sarcastic. So if we break below, above this, then uh, of course that opens the door to 303. But I do believe that we'll go lower before we go higher at this point. So anticipate a fall in the uh, uh, Facebook uh, stock, and we will most likely find resistance at the 40 exponential moving average or the 100 uh, moving average at $256. So look at Google. Google did exactly the opposite of what we expected. It rallied. So... Google rallied four days in a row, broke down quite significantly, and then I expected it to go towards a 50 moving average before rallying, but we are rallying right now. But the technical indicators for Google stock are not encouraging. We are overbought. Other uh, indicators are showing uh, that we are going to lower levels. So this may be a, what do you call it? A bull trap where you basically have prices increase while indicators are showing that we are expecting a fall in this market. If we fall, we'll find resistant support at the uh, 50 moving average at 1,543. A break about the top here will open the door to these highs of $734. But break below the 50 moving average and the 100 moving average opens the door to the 200 moving average at around 1433. No interest in basically buying this at the moment because you can see that MACD, the CCI, Stochastic, Bollinger Band, everything is pointed to lower price levels. So, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to subscribe, subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Good luck and thank you very much.